Hey, what's going on, DDO players? Axel here. So, the developers definitely dropped a bomb on us a couple days ago. They announced all of the gigantic Update 51 changes, and these are huge. These are the biggest changes we've probably seen in DDO in probably like a decade. It's going to completely change the way Epix works. Everyone's character is going to be affected, assuming you play over level 20. Yeah, it's huge. So if you didn't see it, I did a video about five, six days ago where I gave my opinions on what I wanted to see in the Epic Destiny revamp. And in general, they did what I was expecting them to do, except they took it a lot farther than I thought they would. So they're not only completely changing Epic Destinies, they are also doing a pass on every single Epic Destiny tree. So there's just tons tons in this preview to talk about. I can't cover it all in one video. This video is going to be basically just giving you kind of an overview of the big changes and summarizing the big, big changes and explaining them to you, the general changes. Now, I will not get into all the changes involving the Epic Destiny trees. I probably will do some of those in a separate video, but there's too many to cover, so I probably can't do one on every single tree, but I would like to do some videos on that. But this is just gonna be the big system changes that I'm gonna talk about today, the major stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and get started and talk about this. So this is the post from Kokomajobo, the associate producer of DDO on the Lamania forms. Be aware that this stuff is in preview, so it could change. You're still listening to feedback, none of this is final. Also be aware that this is an early preview. This is for update 51. We still have update 50 yet to come. So the update 51 stuff probably won't come for a few months. So just keep that in mind. But let's continue on now and start with the post. So this is what Kokomo Jobo had to say. He said, greetings, this is a crazy read, so buckle up. A crazy read, so buckle up. Epic Destinies, we are going to fully revamp the ED structure from the ground up to provide a cohesive leveling experience from levels 20 to 30 and beyond. The new structure will resemble heroic enhancements, six cores along the bottom and five tiers reaching to the top. However, there are some notable differences and similarities to the old ED structure. So let's start with the big changes. So big change number one, you can now be in a maximum of three Epic Destinies at one time. He says, think of it like current enhancement window but without any ability to scroll horizontally along trees you select up to three trees at a time socketing them into place in your ed window just as you select your heroic enhancement trees okay so basically epic destinies are now going to work like heroics in this way a little bit more restricted because you are restricted to three trees but bottom line is you can now spend points and benefit from more than one epic destiny at a time so before you had to only pick one destiny, so say you're in Legendary Dreadnought, for example, you could only use that tree. Yes, you could twist abilities in from other trees, but you could only be in one destiny at one time. Now you're gonna be able to dip into other trees and you're going to be able to take, say like cores from other trees, for example. You're gonna be able to benefit from up to three epic destiny trees. Not sure exactly why they limited it to three, so like heroics, you can dip into more than, you know, definitely more than three, three, four, whatever uh, number of trees. They are limiting it to three in epics. Okay, let's continue on. Next, he talks about destiny points. So they are going to smooth out, and this is where the the big controversy is gonna definitely come, and we're already seeing a lot of drama on the forums about this. What they're doing is they are scaling epic destiny power more across the entirety of the level. So instead of giving getting it all at level 20, you're now going to get it in kind of bits and pieces as you level up throughout the epic levels. Now there are some abilities like destiny feats that you are getting earlier under the new system, so it's not all it's not all being taken from you at low epic levels, uh, but you definitely are getting generally yes, this is going to be a big nerf to your character power at low epic levels to mid epic levels especially. So let's explain. As you level up beyond level 20, you will earn destiny points that you can spend in these ED trees. Epic levels now display their experience and ranks just like heroic levels do. Each point is earned at each rank of an epic level, which means that each epic level corresponds to four destiny points. So what this means as similar to heroics, kind of like in heroics, your levels are divided into ranks. Epics were not divided into ranks, but now epic levels are going to be divided into ranks just like heroic levels. And each rank means you get one destiny point, which destiny points are the same thing essentially as action points in heroics. It's an additional point that you can spend in your trees. So let's continue on. Each 
Epic Destiny ability in the new Destiny system has a Destiny point requirement as well as a level requirement, just like heroic enhancements do. So you can't jump right to the end at level 20 or without spending the requisite points up the tree. The level AP requirements are as follows. So yes, uh, they are continuing with the power that they're spreading out now over Epic levels. Instead of giving it all to you at 20, they are gating certain abilities. So as we can see on the chart here, Core 1. You can access Core 1 in your Epic Destinies at level 20. Core 2 you can't access until level 23. Core 3, level 26. And when it comes to the tiers, tiers 1, 1 is at level 20, and 2 is also at level 20. You cannot access tier 3 in the ED trees until level 23. Tier 4 until level 26, and tier 5 until level 30. So yes, before, you know, this is why it's a big nerf at lower epic levels, because before, right when you got to level 20, under the current system, you could actually access full, full tiers and you can benefit from all that stuff at level 20 now it is being gated at levels okay so keep that in mind now the one thing that's very interesting in this part of the post is where he talks about cores four to six so this basically this gives us a better idea of what the level cap increase is going to entail so look, cores four to six are not available currently in the trees but they will be available once the level cap goes above level 30. So this tells us it's probably going to be more than just a couple levels. We're probably going to see, I would say, the if it continues the same pattern as these other cores scale, we're probably going to see more like a level 35 or maybe level 40. So it's not probably not going to be just one or two levels. It's probably going to be uh, five or ten levels. Okay, continuing on, unlocking trees. So assuming you've never been in epics before, when you reach level 20, you will be directed to the Fate Spinner and a new public area accessible from her dialogue. This area will contain NPCs that correspond to each destiny. Speak to those NPCs to unlock the destiny for this character permanently. Okay, so basically what this is, as you can see on the screen here, because I, I checked this out on Lamania yesterday, what this is is now when you get to level 20, there will there's a little tutorial that basically involves you going and talking to a series of NPCs, each NPC representing a destiny. And you need to talk to each of these NPC. They're going to tell you a little bit about each destiny, and they're also going to allow you to actually unlock each destiny. So you need to actually go talk to these NPCs on each character and unlock them. Also, once you talk to these NPCs, you get a certain number of fate points, and we'll get into fate points here in just a second. But the point of this new tutorial is they want to basically educate new players, help them more understand the new system. When you first unlock your trees by talking to each of these NPCs in the tutorial, you'll get plus two fate points per tree. So that means at a minimum, your character will begin with 24 fate points. So let's get into fate points now. So fate points are changing. So twists of fate, they are no law, they don't exist anymore in the new system. So before in the old system, current system on live, you would have twists of fate that you could twist in abilities from other trees. So say you're running in Legendary Dreadnought, you could go twist a tier three ability from Fury of the Wild using a twist of fate slot. That's going away since they are now allowing us to dip into multiple trees just like Heroic Enhancement. So it didn't really make sense to keep twists since you are already twisting abilities in de facto by accessing more than one tree in the new system. So this is what fate points are going to do now. So there are no more twists of fate but fate points still have a use. Every three fate points you've earned will contribute to one permanent destiny point in the epic destiny trees. Okay, and this part of the post is a little confusing. So there are destiny points and then there are permanent destiny points. They are different. So destiny points are, they work the same as the heroic action, like heroic tree and action points. They allow you to spend point. These are points you spend in your trees to gain new abilities. However, there is a subsection of these, des of these destiny points called permanent destiny points. So this is where you're still getting some of the power up front at level 20. So you get all of your permanent destiny points when you hit level 20. So these permanent destiny points you don't earn as you level up. You just get them all at level 20. And you can get more permanent destiny points through Tomes of Fate and also through Epic Reincarnation and Epic Completionist as part of Epic Reincarnation. So if you have multiple Epic Pass Lies, if you have a Tome of Fate, you're going to get more points you're going to get this pool of permanent destiny points right at level 20 so you still are getting some of your points up front so last video i talked about whether they're going to go with a system where it completely scales over level a system like we have now in current where you get everything at 20 or a hybrid system they went with the third option went with a hybrid system so yes uh, a bulk of your points are going to be granted to you as you level up but you still get a certain bundle of points through these epic 
uh, through these permanent destiny points up front at level 20 when you enter the system. And these permanent destiny points, again, are going to be based on your fate points. So fate points turn into permanent destiny points. So the number of fate points you have corresponds to the number of permanent destiny points that you get. So what is the ratio for this? The ratio is three to one. So for every three fate points you have or that you earn, you get one permanent destiny point. So since every character starts with 24 fate points by talking to the new tutorial NPCs to unlock your destinies, everyone starts with eight permanent destiny points. And you can get more permanent destiny points as explained through Tomes of Fate and Reincarnation. So those would grant fate points, and then those fate points correspond to your permanent destiny points at a three to one ratio. Another thing to note here is that epic past lives give you one fate point for every three epic past lives. So let's say for example, your character has nine epic past lives and no Tomes of Fate, but not you do have nine epic past lives. That means your character will start with the initial 24 fate points because everyone gets that just by going through the tutorial and you'll earn an additional three fate points because you have nine epic past lives and epic past lives give you one additional fate point for every three so that means you'll have three additional fate points and those three fate points also convert to permanent destiny points at a ratio of three to one so those three fate, fate points will turn into one destiny point. So what does that mean? It means that instead of, since you have your nine epic past lives, instead of starting with eight permanent destiny points at level 20, you will start with nine. I know that is very confusing and you need to read the post and maybe rewatch this part of my video a little, a couple times to, to understand because it took me several times reading this post to understand it, but it is what it is. But basically what you need to know is that by getting Tomes of Fate and by getting epic past lives, you can get more permanent destiny points, which allow you to get more initial points to, send in, to spend in these epic destinies right when you get to level 20. And the rest of your points you'll get that you can spend in your epic destinies, you'll get as your character levels up. So that's basically what you need to know. The more epic past lives that you get, the more initial upfront power you get at level 20. Okay, let's continue on. And we'll talk a little bit more about epic reincarnation. Okay, so the first thing to know about Epic Reincarnation is that Karma is gone. They did get rid of Karma, which is yay. That's one thing I wanted uh, if you saw my last video. So Epic Reincarnation, now all you need to do to ETR is you just need to be level 30. And you don't need to actually level in any certain destiny because Karma is gone at level 30. You can just Epic Reincarnate and take whatever Epic Pass life you want. So that's great. In that way, it makes Epic Reincarnation easier even if you are losing power at lower epic levels, which does make epic re reincarnation harder. But hey, at least there's no more being forced to run in off destinies. That concept is going away. So the next thing that the developer here says is that epic completionist, rather than granting a twist of fate slot, will instead grant a flat plus one destiny action point. So you get another destiny action point at level 20 if you have epic completionist. So that's just another point to spend in your trees. So it's kind of like racial, um, complete uh, racial past lives in that way where racial past lives can earn you more racial tree points now if you get epic completionist you get just plus one epic destiny point to spend in your epic destiny trees and you can also stack stack epic completionist so we kind of summarizes it here at the bottom so this means that a player with epic completionist all epic past lives and tomes of fate from feywild and a plus three and a tome of destiny from feywild and a plus three tome of fate and all unlocked destiny trees will begin level 20 with 19 permanent destiny points so that's kind of the top of the power curve so if you do a lot of epic past lives you buy tomes you all that kind of stuff you can go from eight initial permanent destiny points to 19. so there is quite a bit of power to be gained there so let's talk about this chart here so here are some of the changes and some of the things this basically this chart they've listed here really displays in a picture uh, the all the big a lot of these big changes in the way you level in epics so you look on the left side of this chart it has says current unlocks so that's the current system and on the right where it says proposed unlocks that represents the new system the proposed new system so the big changes here are the destiny feats which you can see in orange and the ed tree unlocks which you can see just in normal black type so under the current unlock system, you see at level 20 here where it says the entire ED tree system up to tier six. So what that means is currently at level 20, you can you have access to everything in your tree basically. But you have access up to the, the highest tier in your trees right when you get to level 20. So now at level 20, you only have access to tier one and two. So yeah, so that's the, the big power nerf there. 
uh, at level 23, you gain access to tier three and eat your Epic Destiny Core two. And at tw level 26, you unlock your Epic Destiny tier three, tier four, that's the tier four in the trees. Uh, Epic Destiny Core three also unlocks. So, and then at level 30, you gain access to the highest tier in your Epic Destiny tree, which is tier five. So it's going to work much like Heroic Enhancements in that way, the way that Heroic Enhancements currently are locked behind certain levels so you can't access like tier three or tier four in your regular class trees for example until you get to a certain level it's going to work that way in epics so now when you level through epics the good part uh, the good one of the good parts of this new system is that it's going to feel significant when you actually level up instead of the current system where when you get to certain levels like level 22 23 you don't really get much of anything so while you even though you level up you really don't gain much power so now you'll gain steadily gain power as you level up in epics. Okay, one other thing to note is there, it's not all bad, so you are getting some power earlier. So that's in the form of the destiny feat. So if you see an orange here on the chart, so the, the destiny feats, uh, these used to only be granted to you at levels 26, 28, and 29. Now you're getting those earlier. So you get your first destiny feat at level 22, your second at 25, and your third at level 28. So that is some power you're getting earlier, even though you're gonna be locked out of the trees. Now at your lower epic levels, your mid epic levels, you are getting some power earlier through the destiny feat. So there is some give there, it's not all take. So that's something to keep in mind. So I guess the last thing here is he talks about epic and destiny feats. So epic destiny feats no longer have sphere requirements. So that's good. So there are certain sphere requirements. And this is one of the things, if you saw my last video, that I really was hoping they would get rid of, and they did. So there is no more requirements to, obviously, since karma is gone, since the whole concept of leveling up destinies is gone, uh, there's no longer any requirements um, when it comes to spheres to actually take certain feats. Now you can just take whatever sphere you, whatever uh, feats you want. There's no more prerequisites tied to that. There are also several epic and destiny feats that have changed in functionality and I'll, I'll probably get to that in later videos but some of the big highlights to know is that um, abilities like dire, like dire Charge is no longer a feat that you can take. Dire Charge is now exclusive to the legendary Dreadnought tree um, and then there's spells like Mass Frog which is now exclusive to the Primal Avatar tree. So you need to keep things like that in mind but I'll probably get into that when I go to later videos. I would like to do at least videos on at least some of the new Epic Destinies, because keep in mind the Epic Destinies, they aren't just changing the stuff that I'm talking about in this video. They are completely changing a lot. A lot of these trees, the Epic Destinies look completely different and they are revamping all of them, all 12 of them. So keep that in mind. So yeah, guys, this is just the big changes, the the, the main stuff you need to know. There will be further videos and there's more, there's more changes to, to, to talk about, uh, but I will get into those in later videos, but that's gonna be it for this one. Let me know what you think below be interested in reading this i know there's as far as the community feedback so far it seems to probably probably lean a little negative though it's hard to tell because there is a lot of um, complaining on the, the ddo forums but there is a lot of negative feedback which is understandable because uh, it, it's going to make epic reincarnation harder it's going to make your characters less powerful at the lower level so i'm pretty conflicted with what i think about this change I don't like that my character is going to be weaker at lower epic levels. On the other hand, if you saw my last video, you know how much I've not been a fan. Uh, really, if you've watched my videos for years, I've not been a fan of the way Epic Destinies have worked for a long time, and I think the new design does make more sense. I, I do think it's a better system. The problem is we were given a worse yet um, more generous system for years. Really, uh, Mo2 is going to be out... 10 years next year so we've been playing the game for nine years getting all this power at level 20 even though i don't think in design design wise it's a better system it is still going to to suck going you know losing all that power at low epic levels we've in a sense been spoiled all of these years by a subpar system that is subpar but has the benefit of making us more powerful and being more generous towards giving us power earlier so i'm very mixed with this but i would be interested in reading what you all think if you would like to support me on patreon I will link that below. Also, I've been streaming a lot on twitch.tv slash AxelAlexK. If you want to check me out, I'll also link my Twitch below. I'm streaming regularly, so stop by and say hi. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll link everything down below when it comes to uh, the these various threads so you can read it for yourself. But yeah, stay tuned for more, more videos, but that's going to be it for today. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Have a good one. Take care.